Researchers at U of M are looking at the best ways to battle an invasive plant spreading across our forests. The stubborn shrub on your screen is buckthorn. New at six, next weather meteorologist Adam Del Rosso explains why it causes so much trouble for our native plants. At first, this forest seems unsuspecting to the average eye. But all around it, these scientists see a problematic plant, buckthorn. Buckthorn is an invasive shrub that was brought over from Europe in the 1800s. Primarily is brought over for use in hedging. It grows really quickly. It's resistant to pruning or browsing by animals. And it keeps its leaves on very late into the fall. And it produces tons of those leaves. All those leaves preventing the many native plants from growing, which can create a number of issues. Native plants provide the foundation which all other organisms depend on. So wildlife depend on them. We depend on having native plants around. And having forests that are completely dominated by buckthorn really reduces the value of those forests to people and nature alike. Mike Schuster is a researcher at the U, leading the project to get rid of the species across the state. Because it can grow back so easily, whether it's in a forest or on your property, he says it'll take more than just cutting it down. You need to follow it up with uh, replanting native species. You need to fill the void that's left by those buckthorn you removed and get the native species back in there. But we're also doing work looking at how deer fit into the picture, how buckthorn affects water quality, and how we can tailor these methods to better suit the different types of forests we see around the state. Though it's a tall task at hand, Schuster says they're making progress, thanks to the collaborative help from various agencies. At the St. Croix Watershed Research Station, Adam Del Rosso, WCCO News. The Buckthorn Project at the U is funded by the Environment and Natural Resources Trust Fund. That expires next year unless Minnesota voters renew it on the ballot next month.